Right now we're going to do a meet and greet with the mighty Springboks, the national team. They came to visit, came to say uh, good luck, and of course me saying good luck to them. We're about to meet some very special people. Good, bro. Good to see you. For us, we're big fans of the UFC. For him to get his opportunity and be a world champion, you know, is, is huge for us as a country because that's all we have. Each, each other is South Africans. It's a South African song about uh, camaraderie, getting together, family, values, and absolutely amazing to be here with, with all these uh, wonderful people. As, as a team, thank you so much for having us here today. We're all behind you, and we're all behind you. And this is not just for South Africa now, no, it's the whole of Africa. We hope we'll make you proud because I know you make some proud. So thank, thank you, you so much, Captain. I mean, for me to, to be here today, having all of you here supporting me, you guys are playing at that incredible stadium. I'm fighting right around the corner, you guys being here supporting. It means the absolute world. And also, like Neil said, we've shown the world that we can do it. And it's going to be a clean sweep this weekend, I have no doubt. I'm feeling ready to fight right now. Let's go. Let's go, guys. And still. <laughs> The amount of fighters from Perth coming out, I mean, it's huge for MMA in Perth, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. I mean, for a long time, growing up myself, I got told I need to go to the US. If I want to be any good, i got to go to this place and that place, and you can't do it from here. It's not big enough. So the fact that, yeah, you've had Jack Della, you've had me doing what we're doing, and now you have the younger guys coming up from Perth as well, it just shows anybody that doesn't matter where you're from, you can, you can make it happen if you really want it to happen. And what do you make of Kai as an opponent? Yeah, he's a very good fighter. He's uh, super explosive, uh, very good takedown defense, and he hits really hard. So I definitely have to mind my P's and Q's, but um, I just think I'm better at the end of the day. What are the emotions now? You're only a few days away from actually getting the fight time. When I look at Ty, he's a, he's a guy, he doesn't show fear. If he comes out different, they'll be weird, but, but show no fear, then that's it. I go over the first round knockout all the time because I know I have the ability. Um, but if it goes to the second round or the third round, I might take my time, finish it off, make a, a proper knockout, brutal, crazy, highlight. Hey, my brother. No, first time. Come on, man. Of course. The fight of meeting and stuff. Yeah. Have fun. Good luck, brother. Likewise, man. Enjoy. Israel, what are you expecting from Drinkers? Just expect him to bring his best. He says he feels amazing, so I'm like, good. That's what I want. I know what I can do. My team knows what I can do, and it's just time to show people what I can do. Put them into place. You. Do you see this as a clash between two men who can confuse most of the division? It's about who shows up in the night with the plan, and if that plan is changing, who can, like you said, figure it out? You know, when I walk out to that octagon, the belt is vacant. And I'm fighting for that title. And the same guy that was willing to die to win that belt is willing to die once again. Thank you so much for coming out to the UFC 305 Open Workouts. We appreciate all of you being here. We're going to start this one off with a great fighter. He is from Perth itself. Please welcome him. Fight hard, I'm gonna fight fast, and I'm gonna fight smart.
Come on. I'm taking this guy out. Now, each one's gonna be special. You got a special thank you. Appreciate you. Love you. the UFC 305 press conference in Perth, Western Australia. A loaded pay-per-view card comes your way Saturday from RAC Arena. What's going on, Perth, Western Australia? How good is this crowd? With that, who has the first question? Oscar Willis, go ahead. Dreykus, is this a fight you have to make ugly to win? I don't have to make it an ugly fight. I will be making it an ugly fight. I can make it a pretty fight. I'm winning the fight. That's at the end of the day what's going to happen. On a personal note, I don't know Israel Desanya. What he says, I don't like. When it comes to you as a fighter, the man is great. He's done great things. It's just time for me to take over, like I have. And that's why I'm champion of the world. Israel, are you happy that actually you're fighting him now? Yep, definitely. Um, this is what I do. I do this shit every time. Quench for Car Car France. Can Steve present any problems in there that you haven't seen in the octagon? Uh, you know, Steve's a, a tough challenge. He's a great opponent. He's done well in a short time in the UFC. You know, we're, I'm not looking past Steve at all. He's, he's all I'm focused on, and, and I'll be dialed in, locked in, ready to um, knock out the hometown boy. Question for Steve. Obviously, you're the, you, you represent Perth up there, so how good does this feel to be here for Perth? This is more crazy than I expected the Perth crowd to be. Like, we're not even at the event yet, just the press conference, so yeah. <laughs> It's awesome to be a part of, and, um, and yeah, I'm just excited to put on a show. He's got a tough opponent in front of me. Um, he's looking to knock me out. I'm looking to knock him out, so let's make it happen. A uh, question for Drickers. How much extra motivation has it added for you being the enemy? I'm motivated by greatness. I'm not motivated by some person. If he doesn't step in, I'll be the same motivated fighter that steps in there. And anybody can see this. Once again, it's about how bad do you want it. This is a question for Izzy. Culturally, you know, this has been made about culture. We didn't want really to make it about culture, but, you know, someone made it about culture. Amen. When you win the belt again, do you plan on taking it back to Africa? I'm a child of the earth, and when I take this bet, I'm taking it everywhere with me. Are you Man. taking the servants with you when you're going back? What the f*** are you even on about? My father and myself had to wake up at 4 a.m. and clean the banks while my mom studies to be a nurse. You don't know my f***ing story. Amen. Don't oh. You can speak of my story if you don't know my story. I don't care. I will show you story. who you are. So right now, I can't wait. In bye bye, unless I can see. You're talking about I made it about anything else. You did. Being you the did. First you couldn't even respect African the people death. of the land. I am the Walking first. The country. You were the I one am. not even doing anything. I took my shoes off to connect with the people, with the mob. What did you do? You stand there trying to mean mug me. Are you stupid, my man? I'm not you your man. You're gonna do what I did, take as the first residing African. That was Sounds exactly silly. it. You, you never like you can't change I will that. Slay you pig. Shut up, pink fit. You can't change the facts, but you can't change those facts. I he, he touched the subject there, because I, I do this for my family. I do this for the people I love, and I'll, I'll fight for you forever. I swear to God. Um Watch this. I'm a, look, I'm a f human being. I am a man. I can cry and whoop your ass at the same time. <laughs> I feel the love from the crowd. Hey, I'm gonna f kill your dreams. B I wanna f kill your dreams. What a note to end things here at the press conference. Perth, no crowd quite like you. We're gonna clear the stage and square off these athletes.
Don't touch. Don't touch. Take the 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 tou